This is my first trip to Haiti. I wake up in the morning with the roosters crowing and the dogs barking and the doves cooing. I'm very touched by the Haitians' resilience, their resolve, their enterprising persistence, and their neat, clean, personal attire. I'm awed by the beauty of the land. I'm deeply moved by their plight with no education or opportunity. But I'm grateful for jobs provided by Worldwide Village, them giving a hand up instead of a handout, helping them to be more self-reliant. I'm grateful for the love demonstrated by the Christian community and the joyful response of children. At first, it's very overwhelming. It's just so different from anything that I've ever experienced or been a part of. Um, it's overwhelming by the masses of people and their uh, conditions that they live in, the homes, the way they prepare food, and even driving around the city. Uh, just the chaos of people everywhere and there's no structure or order to the way that they drive. There's trash everywhere. They have to burn their trash to get rid of some of it. And there's still so much. All the houses we see are half destroyed or built in a way where if there was another earthquake, it would just fall to the ground. Now it's rising from the ground. Haiti is a unique place, obviously one of the poorest of the third world countries, but there are uh, so many incredible people here and they're full of love and joy. They don't know that they live probably the poorest life of most of, them, of the world. And yet our people are able to come in here, come alongside of them and laugh and joke and have a great time together. At the same time, they see the love of Jesus in our team and it's exciting. My favorite experience was hiking up this trail where the future building of Worldwide Village was going to be uh, built. And uh, on our way up there, we had a bunch of the Haitian kids come with us and they would just want to get to know you and ask you what your favorite thing was. I think that the Lord wants us to know that even in the midst of an area or a country that's so poor that there is a shining light. Um, I see that in their smiles and in their kind hearts. You don't really feel bad, you just feel kind of like you want to like share love and because that's really what people need. Once you kind of get, get over that it's going to be hot and you're going to be kind of hot, you just put that aside and get to work and it's been a great group that we've been with and we just did a really great job. It was a really neat trip. God's helped me understand that people don't have to live in luxury to believe in Him and to praise Him. He's the same God no matter where we're here at home, if we're out here in Haiti, um, we all worship the same God and He's doing a great work out here. And I feel like He just made me feel like I was a part of the community of Williamson for the short time we were here. I think it's just really awesome. There's a lot of things God can still do and <laughs> we, um, we, we need to not limit him in our heads.